Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will continue the our ultimate tutorial superable about um, topography. I mean about topos surface. So if you didn't watch the previous one, just uh, check the link below this video and go the and go to watch the previous one first. Because uh, maybe it will be hard to understand what's going on now in your screen. So for those who already uh, watched the previous the uh, series, we will continue now. So, and the previous one we finished uh, the see all the mm, tools about toposphere, how you toposphere surface, sorry, how you can create it and how you can modify. So, and now we will go to the mass messing uh, site and we will check what's uh, what is that the property line actually property line this is our boundary boundary of our site so this means we can for example let's choose a property line and now uh, Revit asking uh, how we want to make it so we will create the by sketching and you just sketching your site so make sure you're on the uh, floor plan the site so you're using the site plan uh, because it's uh, will be as I said it will be more easy to understand why you're drawing because sometimes you're using the section box and you cannot see the uh, line out of the section box. Okay, we finish uh, draw our uh, boundary. Let's say okay. So what does give us this line? Um, actually, one thing. Uh, you cannot see this line in 3D. Uh, you can you can see this line for all of level. So the level one, level two. Uh, let's say I want to create level three. Uh, I hope I have. Let's check it out. No, I don't have the level three, but we can mm, actually we can create it. So here the my. Uh, uh, elevation let's create level 3 level 4 and here now I'm able to create the floor plan for level 3 and level 4 let's go to level 3 as you see and the le oh sorry this is level 4 we we can see our boundary line and level 3 of course we can see this boundary line too if I will change the mm, the scale to 1 to 1000 our line is also changing our line this is annotate object it's not uh, 3d object it, this is just annotate but you can you can able see this object in all of the your plans so this is what i think this is that's it uh, about the um, property line because uh, we don't have uh, much functional of this uh, tool so we will switch now to the uh, graded region. So what is that graded region? And to understand what is that graded region, uh, I will go again to the site view and um, I will copy this my site because I don't want to change it. I will copy it somewhere here and let's uh, choose this tool graded region and now Revit asking like uh, how we can um, how we can uh, how we want to edit this toposphere i will choose the second one we will create the new based parameter just let's choose that one and as you see um revit creates the new uh, toposphere so topo surface why i'm saying sphere sorry guys uh, just my mistaken and i'm just creating the new um, topo surface for example, I will do like this, maybe here will be 15 meters, who knows, like this. I'll go in 3D and I'll show you what's going on. So 15 meters is not enough, let's say 30 meters, why not? This is only the sample for you. And what is going on now? The That one, it's purple or or something like pink between pink and purple the color uh, let's call it purple color purple color this is for our original site and that color this is our um, future site so this mean when I will apply it so let's apply it we have now two different surface that this that one 
is our previous surface and that other one this is our new surface this new surface have the three more parameters you cannot change these parameters but it's really important the first parameter showing us uh, net between the cut and fill so uh, this means fill and how many the soil you should the fill to this uh, area to get this shape and cut of course how you many the soil should uh, get from this place to reach uh, finish result so and, and as you understand the net is uh, the calculation between two of them so uh, like this you can save your original one top of surface I mean the your surface and create on uh, on this based uh, new one so you can make like uh, uh, just st uh, stage stage one stage two stage three like before building and after uh, you will complete the building it's really useful uh, if you planning to work more with the uh, this landscape it's the tool not number one but to in top of five the revit tools so uh that's that's it about uh, this tool uh now we will switch to again to the uh, messing inside and now we will speak about the labels and contours now it's um uh, you cannot uh, you cannot choose this tool because now we are in the 3d so let's switch to the side view now it's able to choose this tool and i will switch to this side for example i will take uh, that part let's choose this uh, label and uh, i will show like from that side maybe to that one and as you already understand be able to put the dimension not dimension the uh, le le uh, level uh, number or no, label of uh, the level so we understand this line is one meter that one it's two meter and on and on so this object actually it's uh, half on a tate half 3d why i say that one because we able to change it so for example we can change it from the base point also from the railway point maybe it's from survey point why not but we we don't have the any changes now but i will show you how it will change it for example now it's uh, from the zero right and if i will uh where is it where is the bottom bottom uh -huh, here if i will change the original bottom from the um, our project for example i will change the uh, base point of the project and elevation will be like minus 10 hundred 10 thousand let's say so it's nothing changes but uh, you will see it here uh, let's go here and i change the base point right survey point and you can see it now here so our base point starting from minus 10 thousand because i changed this uh, point and now Revit to uh, understand like our project is starting from the minus 10,000. Also here you can change the other parameters like uh, for example uh, some text size and whatever you want. Uh, this is just only the style how you can present it. That's it. And of course this is family as you see. You can duplicate, change and do whatever you want. So this is enough for today and uh, as you understand I don't want to blow up your mind with uh, all the uh, all this the tools uh, uh, about top of surface so we will continue in next tutorial uh, we will more closely the we will more closely the look the other things because other things it's uh, a bit complicated uh, to understand it's just for a few clicks but that one you can uh, use it now you can try and you will understand how it works better and the other tutorial you will uh, you will ready to continue uh, to continue this work 
thank you guys for watching this all tutorials for you uh, don't forget go to the below this video check the link uh, i starting my patreon program as i said if you want support support me if not it's okay anyway just go and check it so maybe you will interesting for that again thank you and see you soon and that's it from today thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe my social media leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time